Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma. You're watching Enigma Inc. So I'm going to do Cancer for June 2022 bonus. Then we are going to start with uh, the next week's reading, weekly horoscopes. Let's see the messages for you, Cancer. This is a general reading, so whatever resonates, take it. What does not, leave it. For more accurate readings, you can reach out for personals on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. The details are given below. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You can also reach out to me for white private spells that really do wonders for your highest good and is totally a spiritual method of manifesting anything that you want. So there is nothing negative or dark about it and it's beautiful prayers that are done to the universe, done to the God and goddesses. And uh, yeah, you can check out my Instagram for daily dose of free horoscopes and monthly predictions. And I have major updates and feedbacks all over there on my Instagram. So follow me there on my Instagram for all the updates. And last but not the least, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on your signs. Cancer. Calm and composed. Cancer. Ooh. Five of Cups. Eight of Wands. Why do I feel like there's someone from the past that feels like they did wrong to you? They're feeling guilty and they want to reach out to you very strongly. Like that is what is going on in someone's mind. I feel like the love that you had for this person or the love in general you have for people around and how kind you are. That's something that your person is kind of missing in other partners. And that is why I feel like this person wants to come through with you. So Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, feeling like right now you're, what you're doing is Cancer is focusing on self-love. You want to take care of yourself. You want to love yourself. And uh, I feel like you're working hard on your own development. You're happy and you believe in yourself. And that is the vibe that you're giving to the whole, you know, people around. Here I'm seeing that the Five of Cups and the Eight of Wands is like someone wants to try hard, you know, to come towards you. Like once they've had a feeling like they've lost you or they're about to lose you, that's when this person realizes how much they are into you and they're getting more and more attracted to you. So there's someone that is coming in strongly. And then we have the Strength card, which means that you're holding yourself strong and you're not letting anybody take advantage of you and i feel like you've had this person wrapped around your finger now and now this person you know uh just cannot stop loving you and the kind of uh, feeling that they feel towards you they, they they don't feel it for anybody else so they may be having options but there's no one that makes them feel the way you make this person feel and yes, this person misses you a lot and the kind of a connection you guys once had. I feel like this person's not able to forget you and wants to come towards you heavily. And the general ones is like this person wants to work on this. They they're not ready to lose you at all. Here I'm seeing that the three of cups is like you guys had a great connection earlier and uh, they're missing that but i'm also seeing at the same time you're moving towards someone new there's someone new that has come into your life which is leading this towards love triangle i'm seeing that cancer you close the door on someone and it's a final decision from your end even though if this person is missing you regretting you're not going back and you're very clear about it so you've had this tower moment and you're ending this and you know that you want to start afresh slowly you're moving towards a new love new beginning and i feel like definitely whatever you want is coming towards you with the seven of cups you do have options coming in there are new people coming in new love coming in and i feel like you're feeling pretty excited about uh what is there you know for you like you're bored of the same old thing you want something that's smooth that's loving that's caring that's respectful emotionally available so you do have options you're open to them I'm also seeing you manifesting your soulmate. But what I'm seeing over here with the lovers is that, yes, you're open to options and they're coming towards you fast. Uh, right now, Cancer, I feel like you're, you know, you're coming out of the past relationship, past worry, past stress, anxiety. I feel you're the one that has made a lot of efforts in this connection with this person from the past. But they didn't really respect that or took it uh, very lightly. So I feel like now... You've almost come out of that situation, but your person from the past is still stuck on you, okay? They're, they're still trying to, you know, work this out. They want to work this out. They want to change things with you. 
this person you can call it that they're changing okay but now i feel like you have changed more than this person has because you're not ready to go back and i feel like you're looking for something that's stable that's strong that commitment i'm also seeing the one that you were interested in is not having a very stable career or a job and that is also one of the reasons that make you feel like no I may not feel very stable and happy with this person in the long run because you've started seeing things in a more practical way than in a, um, a more emotional way. So you're using your mind over heart and I feel like you're you're moving forward. For the three of swords, I'm feeling like you're done with the old chapter and you're starting fresh. And you're also taking care of your finances, your career. I feel like there's something big that is coming your way and you're preparing yourself for that in terms of uh, a career opportunity but i'm feeling like a lot of money is growing and i also feel like spending too much of words on people or money on things is is uh, highly not recommended okay so be careful of uh, saving your energy into things okay into other people so i'm definitely seeing a new relationship coming in i'm also seeing that you're not very quick in investing in just anybody you're going to test the person you're going to test your options before you can fall in love with those uh with someone okay because i'm seeing definitely a relationship that is coming in the chariot i'm seeing someone moving very very fast towards you and uh, is highly focused on you and is showing a lot of uh you know uh, stability in this i'm feeling like there's someone this could be a completely opposite person from your past lover i feel this is someone who has a big car or a driver or something like that but i'm feeling like this is someone that is on a high placed uh job or they could be into government doing service for the nation that's the kind of a person that you're attracting someone who could be older or an old soul but i feel like this person if you're asking about a male then i feel they may be having a long beard but if it's a female uh then i'm sensing that they will see you like that okay that you are coming towards them with a very high dignified you know um, position after a very high dignified position so i'm seeing the male version over here the masculine is very strong and powerful aries or cancer i'm feeling like there will be a lot of passion and i'm sensing that they'll be very protective about you guys and they'll be very giving towards you and they would never expect you know um uh disrespect this person is very high on that part and i'm feeling like they also know how to give respect to others and there will be a lot of passion and love towards you i'm feeling like a lot of communication this person will never stop uh complimenting you like they'll never get tired of complimenting you every time they'll be like coming up with something new to impress you and you'll be like oh my gosh can you just stop it and you'll be like okay I feel like they'd love the way you talk about things. You're very crisp and precise in your answers and you don't like exaggerate on things and they like that. I'm feeling like you might be an academician or you have a very strong intelligent mind and this person would be very very fond of your intellect. I'm saying I'm seeing. I feel like there's something that you're going to say to this person which is actually going to sweep this person off okay that's actually going to melt their heart i feel like this you're very on point when you talk to this person you'll be very clear like look if you're interested in me you have to tell me whether you're going to take this long term or am i wasting my time so your clear cut answers and your straightforward honesty in all those things is going to make this person want you even more and i feel like this is going to make them wonder more about you like what is this person made of this cancer this is something i feel like they'll be very impressed by the way you carry yourself and your life and that how strongly you have made a mark for yourself and that uh, how much whatever you've earned you've earned it from your hard work and this person is very fond of your intellect i'm seeing you're doing something with you you know you may be having a lot of knowledge about you know your work or your you know your or, or life in general but i'm feeling like whatever knowledge that you're giving this person is extremely fond of it i'm also seeing like this person is keeping a close eye on you and they'll be like always wondering like what's next what's next because you're unpredictable the six of pentacles is like maybe this is someone who's a senior or who will offer you a, an opportunity for making money or something like that i'm i'm also hearing 
something to do with real estate okay business this person wants to involve you in their work because of your intellect or something i'm feeling like that i'm also seeing this person's fond of uh, giving you gifts making you feel happy and they want to be the only one for you in your life they want you to you know take them as a very special person because they know that you have other people also and they want to be the best for you and um, with the four of wands this person is coming with a proposal okay and that too for relationship very soon you will see yourself in uh, this person's arms <laughs> yeah so i'm definitely seeing there's a new beginning where there's a lot of love and uh, yikes this person's going to be really really clingy <laughs> Okay, not in a bad way, but I'm seeing like, yes, they were always there for you. I'm also seeing some sort of a partnership they'll ask you for. Or this is someone at your workplace that at a very high position. But what I'm seeing over here that you guys are going to make a lot of impact on your co-workers and your boss or wherever you're doing, whatever you're doing, you're going to make a lot of impact because of your skills and hard work. And I feel like this person will be fond of the fact that you're taking yourself, your life, your work very seriously. And you're not always mooning and crying over things, okay? Let me know more about the cancer. You were deceived in the recent past. This person, and you tried to disconnect from your from this person, started to love yourself more. And I feel like the one that deceived you is regretting losing you. But then it's over. What can one do, right? We cannot go back. And definitely there is a new love here and uh, this person wants you to be happy and optimistic i feel like this person is quite positive and optimistic maybe they'll start off as friends with you or you might meet this person through friendships um here i'm very seeing as uh, soon seeing that the moment you start to love yourself and respect yourself than anybody else then that's when very soon you're going to land up with this person okay and then there is wedding involved so who is this person let me know journey bad health distant horizons we have mature women i feel like there's an involvement of an older woman who doesn't stay much healthy who stays a little sick or something like that may call you feeling someone over here could be a doctor okay or it is your mother they're coming to see i don't know there's some sort of a connection with health and older women okay i'm seeing this person you may meet this person at a house okay um i feel like there's a distance between you guys maybe they're traveling towards you for some work okay and they may be staying at your place or your friend's place or there's some lady's place and that's how you guys meet so or their mother is sick and they're coming to meet their mom i'm feeling like that this could be 36 as well age wise 31 sensitive so what i'm seeing cancer is you're born sensitive right i feel like you you know how to you know balance sensitivity with dominance as well so i'm feeling like your sensitive side is out and uh, there's some changes that you need to do let's see what else do i see what kind of changes do we need here all right soul family i feel like you're going to meet your like-minded people maybe you need to switch to people who are less toxic and more friendly i'm seeing that the partners or the friends that you're going to you know involve in your on your future it is because of your sensitive side that you're going to be ignoring the toxic people or the people that not match your vibe and going to attract the ones that match your vibe because they are your soul soulmates they are your soul family and that's what i'm seeing what else cancer yes. you and your loved one this is your card cancer so what i'm seeing over here is that don't worry about your uh, family friends people around you because you're safe and people really care for you and they're there for you when you need them Let's see more about the love thing. Like what else is coming in love for my cancers? I'd like to know more about cancers, please, and their love life. Keep 
king of pentacles you're attracting someone who's very wealthy and who knows how to take care of their finances and it's really stable in their work i feel like you're something that you would be doing you know um maybe you're in a beach or you're doing some sort of a salsa dance or some kind of a dance practice or a hobby class that you guys will uh meet or this person will talk about that a lot they may be very attracted towards your talent okay something like I'm feeling like you have a great body as well. They'll be attracted to male or female. Doesn't matter. For a swaz, this person has a habit of keeping things to themselves. So they have a habit of overthinking as well. When they're attracted to something, they keep on thinking about things, and then then only they take action. So what I'm feeling like is once they see you, they'll be like, okay, I want this to you know grow. So that's how they're gonna come and change. I feel like somewhere you are going to change this person, make them more uh, softer because they've been very rigid and you know uh, firm with people around them. And I feel like somewhere you make this person soft and melt. Okay, for you, they could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Sagittarius. But there's someone that's equally very intelligent. I feel like when they want something, they chase, they go for it. They cannot think of anything else. So, it is your attractiveness that's going to first attract them. I'm feeling like Cancer, you'll be very much in the energy of attracting people towards you because you're going to exude a lot of confidence. And something about your creative skills is going to come out in the open and people will be impressed with you. At least your suitor, your person is going to be extremely impressed by the kind of a feminine vibe that you're exuding. And I'm feeling like... Some of you are fond of pink, more pink, you're wearing more pink, or you have a pink undertone to your skin, and I feel that that's beautiful. That makes you extremely attractive. Any animal message we have? Coyote. Oh, I love this name. Coyote. Trust in divine titors. Something to do with that movie, Coyote. Ugly. I don't know. That That's the name. I don't know. There's something about that movie that relates to your life. So maybe you should watch that. So I'm seeing like divine has something big planned for you. So be ready for it. Oops. Okay, so the card wants it to come out on its own. So it might be, I'm feeling like, uh, make more friends of your types or the ones that do not judge you and that are like you or like-minded and are your soul family. So that's the kind of friendships that you will be doing in, in this month of February. Now I'm going to see like what are the signs that are coming towards you. Cancer. This is Pisces. Taurus, Pisces is very strong here. So you'll be attracting these signs most probably. And I want to just pull out one love message. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities. So definitely now you're no more in the past. You're no more thinking about the unnecessary things that didn't work out for you and now you're very focused on the new and you're quite optimistic about your life especially your love life let me just pull out some charms all right so you're manifesting something big in your life i'm feeling like it's more about manifesting love okay i'm also seeing families involvement and something like this could not resonate with each one but yes it has a lot of messages um, that you could be relating you okay so then i'm seeing this is a heart and this is a key someone has a key to your heart and i'm feeling like this person's coming from a place with a lot of towers okay or you're staying in such a place or something with the uh, eiffel tower paris you know or a very crazy proposal a romantic this person is highly romantic for sure B, U, maybe they have B in their name, U in their name, G. Someone wears a lot of Bulgari or someone has a Bugatti. Okay. 
all right Bulgari, Bulgari, okay. See, Bugatti, maybe that's the name. Okay, someone's quite rich here. H, I. I'm also seeing someone's phone of Hollywood, um, a work there, or like something with this. All right, maybe, maybe you've been called with that name. Okay. Gia, someone could be Gia, Bia. Okay. Someone's name could be Anthony. Something with G-A-T. Something with G U H. Someone's name is this Tia Tiffany. I know why I'm sensing that G U H is very strong here, coming off very strong here. So you can make out yourself. Now let us see from Aries to Pisces, how does your person feel about you? Aries, Aries is wanting to settle down. I feel like this year is a perfect one for that. Taurus is coming towards you. They're chasing you because they think a lot about you. The Gemini person is looking for a loyal connection and I feel like you're the one for this person. They know this. Cancer is highly impressed by the way you carry yourself, by your words, by the how, how clean your words are. And then we have Leo. Leo is thinking about giving you a lot of love, attention, care, respect. Whatever you need, they'll be for you. And Virgo is obsessing. I feel like there's some sort of an obsession or a love-hate thing going on in their life. Uh, Libra is uh, right now trying to heal from the past relationship, so it's going to be a little dicey for you. Scorpio is having sleepless nights right now. Maybe they're going through a, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, negativity in their life. So feeling like that. Maybe they need some push or help or some sort of a friendship that they expect from you. Sagittarius has fallen in love, feeling a love of her. Capricorn is like trying to, you know, win over you. Like they feel like they can win you just like how they can win others. So somewhere like there's a game involved. Capricorn is, I feel like the Capricorn is not coming from a very clean, clean, you know, uh, background. I'm feeling like there's something in the background that has happened that might shake you a little bit. So try to get to know more about this person's personal life before you fall into this. Aquarius is highly attracted to you and I feel they feel a strong bond, strong connection with you. And then we have Pisces that wants something solid and a long-term commitment with you. So that is it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell and comment down below. Let me know how this resonated. I will see you next time in more videos like this. Bye-bye. Take care.